everyone. Welcome to Game 7 of the Online Terraforming Mars League. Uh, I'm going to be flying solo for most of today. Um, Q may be joining later. Uh, regretfully. Not regretfully that he'll be joining, but um, <laughs> I'm going to be going slow, solo. All right, let's see what we got in store for us. Uh, let's look at Teractor. Well, not looking amazing here. Um, some good cards, but nothing that really, nothing that really helps our economy. Um, really, UNMI is this is not a great UNMI hand either. There's really no way to control anything <laughs> on the. Uh, environment tracker. So I think I think what we're going to have to do here is just play Teractor and hope that we uh, get some good cards in the draft. Really, uh, kind of unfortunate because there's really no card draw in here either. We'll definitely take energy tapping. Uh, I could just mess with people. Take kelp farming and eco zone. Just uh, they're powerful cards, and we've got nothing else. So we're not going to be spending all our money early. Search for life is an early science tag. I generally don't like taking these kinds of cards so early. I think I'll skip those. Uh, Underground city. I mean, these are this is bad. I guess I could take Radchem Factory. Anthracite likes this, huh? Um, well, I'm going to find out later all the ways that I messed this up then. Against good players, I really don't like Urbanized Area as a first card. It's just like the way I place my cities, I just don't usually leave myself open to this. Um... I guess I'll take Underground City just in case I get some power. I mean, I guess this could be good with some combination of cards. Although I don't typically love this city either. Uh, I don't even know if I want this, to be honest with you. Like, if. I think that basically turn one, I'm just going to do this, just to have something going. Um, I mean, EOS is good with EcoZone. I mean, I really like EcoZone. That's the best thing I have in this hand. Energy tapping could just be annoying for people. I mean, this card's pretty speculative. Hmm. I guess I just take these. All right. This does not seem good to me. I, I'm definitely curious to hear Anthracite's uh, analysis of this afterwards. All right. And I have to play first. Can I? Oh, well, it looks like everybody had um, less than ideal starting corporation. So um, he got five, five, and seven. No power. Really don't want to play it. I guess I could just play Search for Life. You know what? Just get the Search for Life going. Um, <laughs> hit that microbe tag. Ice Asteroid. Okay. Cards and some Titanium. So the Ice Asteroid is actually good for us with Kelp Farming. Uh, if Kelp Farming gets turned on quickly, um, 
that could be that could be great. Um, interesting. Yeah, I was not de definitely not sure about uh, methane from Titan. Okay. Media group, too bad. Would have liked that one. Um, no problem, Q. Yeah. I think I'm just passing here, so we'll see what we we'll see what we get. So anthracite would have kept would skip radcam underground and search for life. I definitely think search for life is good there. I, I don't I don't see why you wouldn't get that one with all the extra money and nothing to do. Okay. Um interesting. I mean I would like some power for this hand. But I think it's probably just Comet here, just pushing the oceans. I think it's just Comet, just pushing the oceans. Yeah. Um, all right. Anthracite's telling me we're not going science, but why not? Science is so good. All right, which way am I passing here? I'm passing down, so I'm passing to Hoosier. I think Ron Mexico is the one that played methane. Can I trust Hoosier Jeff to cut Callisto? I hope so. Okay, perfect. So let's just keep pushing these oceans to get to kelp farming. That's, I mean, that's really not a bad strategy. Um, I'm going to take these three. And just play these oceans. I can get steel and a card, or maybe just a card and four cash would be best, although that's really setting somebody up for a nice city. Yeah, that was a good one, Anthracite. I agree. Just being able to place oceans here makes my hand considerably better. Yeah, and I'm thinking that zero plants and he has two plants. So I can hit some of the plants. So the comet won't be a total total loss there. <laughs> thanks Muller yeah it's a uh, interesting game so far perfect another ocean coming down and mohole interesting okay so oceans are coming down really fast I think I'm going to there's no way that I can really take advantage of these plants. Um, I mean, it might be worth speculating on the plants because I'd really like to get down EcoZone before. I'd like to get EcoZone down before uh, I start, before I play kelp farming. But I, I, do, I, would, I do want the cash too.
And I mean, I could go, the card might be nice too. The question is, do I put my plants here or my oceans here or here? A little bit of a tough call. I think the likelihood that those plants make it pretty low. I think I'd just rather have the cash. I mean, if, if, if I could set up a way that I was likely to get a plant out of, you know, doing the, these, like if I had the one that give me plants instead of hitting somebody else's plants, I'd be more inclined to take the plants and try and get a greenery down. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and start with our subterranean ocean. Let's see, what we drew. Nice. That is a good rip. Um. I think I'm going to take that off one sequence. I just really want to get this four cash back here. Can I afford both? If I play Research Outpost 18, I won't have enough for Comet. If I play Comet first, I will have enough for Research Outpost regular one. Um, five plants. I think I'm just going to keep pushing these. I guess I could wait a turn. No, it's, it's just more, it's more money for me if I do this now. Number one, I ensure that I get the four cash back and I get the bump of two to my TR. Definitely gonna hit Inventrix here. I think they're the main target so far. Um, I don't have exactly enough to play the research outpost now, although there's no real need to right away. Okay, so let's search for life. Dang, okay. I'll just play the outpost next turn. There's no need to do it right now. I'm, uh, there's plenty of good spots for placing cities. I'm not worried about losing a spot. All right, so... Yeah, the anthracite, it's an investment because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um three points off it at some point. So all right, here we go. Interesting. And I'm passing down here. And I actually like nuke zone here. It gives me a heat bump. I can actually just, I could just put it here and then play my city here and just like nerf that spot. I, I actually don't hate that combination. Um, gonna get a bunch of cash back and raise my TR. I also don't hate peroxide power. The passing Vesta is pretty annoying. I mean, The problem with passing nuke zone is that once I play the research outpost, somebody can just nuke zone against me. None of my power cards are, and I have I have a way to make power. I'm just gonna take zone here. I think that that's gonna be better for me. <clears throat> Ooh, mining area and cupola. I like both of those cards. And nobody can use nobody can use mining area as as of yet. Hoopla is great though. And with research outpost, it kind of sets me up for mayor. 
mining area used to have very little production right now. The mining area is going to cost me seven. It's Gen three, and I can only put it on the steel, which means that over the course of the game, it's going to make me twelve five cash. I think it's Kubla, particularly with uh, uh, oh, nice investment loan. That's sick right now. Um, Cupola is going to be good. I think it's it has synergy with my plant production too. <laughs> um, Private wanted me to take uh, mining area. Mining area is not amazing here. Like it's okay. It's already Gen three, five generations of it. I think we take these three. I don't think we need windmills. All right, so I have 31 cash. Question is, do I try, try and bide my time? Yeah, that's true. That's true, Muller. I think it's unlikely they will. Not impossible, but yeah, that that actually that's reasonable anthracite. I kind of forgot that I had underground city. If I'm being perfectly honest. Um I mean, it's not horrible just as a as a third city for mayor if I decide to push that direction. I guess the question I'm thinking about now is like, what do I, I mean, I'd really like to play an ocean. I'd, like, I'd really like to play um, help farming if I can this generation, which means I'd have to bide my time a little bit. All right, let's just do this. So unlucky, so unlucky. Think of all the information that we didn't, we didn't just waste money anthracite, we also gained knowledge, which is that nobody's gonna hit us with uh, um, No one's gonna hit us with the, uh, what's the one that had the, um, that card god i've forgotten all the card names now um the one that you steal seven cash or whatever he's got 13 he's got 15 i don't think the other ocean's coming down this round so if that's the case uh sabotage there you go so if that's the case then i'm gonna go outpost nuke zone and yeah, sabotage. There you go. Out outpost nuke zone. Probably be the end of my turn. Um, and I'm gonna put outpost over here. Oh, Vesta got to him. I guess I passed it to him. <laughs> Unlucky. All right, so let's go outpost and then let's go ahead and do the nuke zone play now. Make a little money and I've got 12 cash remaining. Nobody has any energy. So no, really no need to investment loan. Let me take a quick look at that. Oh, electro catapult, nice, nice one.
he flowed extra power for that. No, he did not. Um, so I have a total of 22 cash available if I want it. If I played not enough to play this combo. Yeah, really no need, no need to do that. I think I just pass here. Yeah, that's true, Dan. I mean, mining area was good. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I mean, I obviously generally like that card a lot. I just didn't want somebody to be nuke zoning us. Um, if, you know, okay. How many building tags? I just have one. A few more in hand. And I'm passing down. Can I trust Hoosier to cut IO? I think I'm going to give it a try. Um, the question is power plant over titanium mine. Power plant is not bad for me right now. I've got a lot of things that power. And titanium mine is like fine, but I don't I don't have any space cards right now. I'm not really doing that. The thing is, if I pass titanium mine, he's likely he he's I think he's more likely to cut IO if titanium mine is not in this in this draft. I think I'd rather have power plant, but I think that if I take power plant, I think Hoosier is more likely to take titanium mine than IO. Whereas if I pass power, and then either way, Ron Mexico is going to get a more useful card for what he's doing. I think I'll just take titanium mine and hope hope that that gets cut. Okay, perfect. So I'll take geothermal power and then let Hoosier cut asteroid mining. And in fact, maybe he'll just take those two things and go for that, which I think would be a trap. Okay, ice cap melting is not going to be good. I think I'll take farming. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Gosh, I feel like I feel like this is a tough game. Like I, I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes. It doesn't help having Anthracite, you know, tell me all the things I did wrong right away. I mean, I, I'm enjoying that, but all this like self-doubt is creeping in. Okay. Um, I'm going to take titanium mine as a chief building tag ish. I mean, it's just a building tag. God, do I even want titanium mine? Like, it's like okay. I don't have any space things happening. I'm going to be pushing towards plants and I'm just going to get asteroid mining consortium, is what's going to happen. I'm just skipping that. I'm going to take power and I'm just going to go that way. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that means that Uzer Jeff <laughs> was cutting those cards. Um, okay, so let's start off. So unlucky. All right, what am I doing this turn? 
All right, let me think about milestones here. So I've got one building tag. All right, terraformer, no, mayor, one, gardener, zero, builder, planner. Okay. I think I'm going for mayor, which dovetails with, with, uh, So if I play mayor, I mean, the other thing I could SP, I could standard project a uh, ocean and play kelp farming. I don't think I have enough for that. I could if I play the uh, investment loan. Honestly, that just might be my best play. Kelp farming is so strong. It would give me, and then the ocean would give me another two plants. So one, two, three, four, five plants. And then next turn, I can make a greenery. I don't hate that, but I go last next turn, which means that these guys are going to have ample time to kill all my plants. And they have, he has 21 cash and he has 17. Another option would just be to play cities. Alternatively, I could play geothermal and like underground city set myself up for mayor i mean kelp farming is super strong I really like the idea of, of setting up a plant next turn, which could allow me to play eco zone. I think it might just be better to play a city here. Set up mayor. The cupola. Kind of a tough call. If I were to play Radchem, Cupola, Geothermal, that puts me at five tags for Builder. I just feel I feel like kelp farming is just the right thing to do here. I mean, nobody else is pressuring me on these milestones, really. And like kelp farming is just so strong. And it's going to give me so many more options protecting those plants because. Loading eight plants past two people with a bunch of cash and a bunch of cards seems like a bad idea. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. That was a tough call. I guess uh, I'll just play.
What's better, cupola or underground? Probably just cupola anyway. And I'm going to put this one over here. Make Noctis less desirable. Yeah, that could be anthracite. Getting kelp on could have been good. I just I should have done if I had, if I had seen that line last generation, I would have done it. If I could have figured out a way to get the plant down, I just I don't like the idea of floating eight plants at, at, on Gen five with everybody having money and a bunch of cards. Like I feel like the, the likelihood that those eight plants come around is so low. Um, That's true. That's true. Let's see. I guess I'm just going to save my money. I, part of me wants to just play Radcam for value, but I'd rather just have the money there because I think I'm going to end up being mayor. I like that mohole placement. That really nerfs a couple spots on the board. I don't think I've I mean, I guess I've seen people do that before, but I don't think I really understand why. There's my plant. Ah, oh, frustrating. Um, all right. Well, at least I'll be able to get. Um, at least I'll be able to get that thing down next turn. Help farming. And I won't have to spend the money to play an ocean, so that's not that's not the worst thing. Hey, Nima. What's up, dude? All right. Um, two cities on the board. I don't really need a bunch of energy. I think I'm just going to take Heather with the... Um, uh, here with uh, my eco zone and the plant stuff that I'm trying to accomplish. Fire company or rad suits. Mm. None of these are that good at this point. This. So let's let's see here. So I'm definitely playing kelp farming this turn. It puts me at five. I'm taking these two. All right. Well, I'm going to take these two. I'm going to lean into plants. I'm going to need to get some heat going so I can get these things down. 
I don't really think I need the energy saving. Okay, it's good that the heat's starting to go up. And eight cards, four cards. So nobody's going for planner in this one. He's going for gardener. Interesting. That does give me the opportunity. I mean, I can play a city up here. I have mayor set up, but it would cost me quite a bit because I'd have to play. Still, there's no energy out here, right? No. All right, let's start off with. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and get our kelp farming down. Just so that I don't forget to play it. <laughs> These guys are. I probably should have waited just so I don't have those plants floating. But um, let's see here. So who's your? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad that's out of the deck too. So the heat is going to start going up. Who's your has some decent heat and uh, and production here? So hopefully, I'll be able to get to my other cards. Okay, so let's see here. If I go 20 cash, 11 and 17. Bags that I have, three. Don't think I'm getting to builder. I mean, I might as well just play rad cam. It's two points, like whatever. So, hope I can get this. I hope this plant comes down. I'd really like to play Eco Zone. So, next turn. If this spot is open, I mean, I could consider playing the underground city and locking up Mayor Gen 6. The four steel is not like amazing, but okay. I do like microorganisms here. Like, okay. Organisms are farming. 
if I still have a chance at builder. No, I'm really gonna play 18 credits on Gen 6 for organism. I think I'm thinking not this farming. <clears throat> That card's better. I think the the chan the idea that it gives me a chance at builder. Ooh, I do. Oh, algae is sick. Yeah, I like algae there. That one's good. Mm -hmm. I cut shuttles. Um. So let's see, he's going to take Gardner, I'll take these two. So if he takes Gardner, what are the other milestones looking like? Terraformer is getting within view. Mayor, I'm clearly ahead there, Builder and Planner. I think that I could end up with two milestones here. So let's see here. If I am... Definitely going to deploy my plant cards right now and just try and build a nice plant engine. I have two nice cities here, so that's going to be good. And then I lead off next turn, so if he doesn't place a city here, I can capitalize on that next turn. Since I lead off. So if I go plant, eco zone, okay, all right. So that's not horrible. So I can go plant eco zone. Let's just get this ego zone down now. So then I'll deploy my plant cards here. I get another plant down if I go algae gives me one and the other one's two that means six not really six plants but I lead off next generation so as long as I don't get them hit this turn at 41 I'll be walking right into a into a demos down it sounds like The other question is, I mean, I could just play down the, let's see here, if I, what do I have this turn? I've got, oh, if I played, I'm definitely playing algae. I mean, there's just no, there's no world in which I don't play algae. I was thinking, what if I investment loan and then go photosynthesis city, that's 28. But just getting getting my plant production here is too good. I'm just gonna do this. So now if I do 
I don't have the option of doing um, underground this generation, but I can kind of bide my time and see how high the heat gets. I might be able to play Heather or something else. Okay, he's going to go for a bumper. I did pass one earlier. And I should have, I will have the option of going sort of plant and then buy a plant next turn to get the heat bump if I want. So unlucky. <laughs> yeah, that card's not looking that great right now. Anthracite. I'm going to admit it. All right, well, there's a big old heat engine coming. Fourteen. That's not bad at three points. The question is, do I energy tap Hoosier? If he has, he has exactly four power. If he's setting up for a bumper, the energy tapper will be super annoying for him. <clears throat> if, the thing is, I don't really need that power right now, and it's a negative one point. But given that I'm going for this plant engine, messing up the bumper could be quite powerful. I think I might do that. I mean, you never know what they have, but I did pass the four energy bumper, and I just can't really see a reason why he would play the three energy card unless there was a bumper. Maybe he's thinking about whether or not to fund Gardner. Like if there's a way I could I could make a plan, I could steal it from him. He's probably thinking about that. Ten cards, three cards, eight cards. I want him to fund that thing. I want him to use his money that way. I think he's got Thermalist. It is negative one point, but I think I'm going to energy tap uh, Hoosier. I think that the the upside for me is pretty high. The likelihood that I lose the game by one point less, although I have lost a lot of games by that much. Industrial Center. Okay. Is he going after Builder? Like Hoosier's going after Builder. I'm going to be unlikely to catch him on that. 
I, I am gonna energy tap though. It looks like next turn my priority is going to be getting the underground city down. Interesting. I used a bunch of heat for that too. Yeah, he's going to go for Builder then. Unfortunate. Nothing else I can do here. <clears throat> cards, three cards. He's a, Hoosier only has three cards, so there's a chance that he doesn't have the building tags. If I play uh, Underground City, that will put me at six tags. Yeah. Maybe some cheap building tags would be helpful for me. So, uh, Anthracite, you're saying that birds would have been better than uh, Search for Life? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're telling me? This isn't a cold calculating stream, Anthracite. This is, this is about having fun. Oh, my gosh. And Enhancers, it's still good. It's still good for me. Um, Ash Protected Habs would be amazing in this game, too. I pass enhancers. I mean, the big combos are already done in that I've already played. I mean, protected halves could just be sick in this game. Passing it to either of these players is bad, but enhancers is also great in this with what I'm doing. I have essentially three ways to take advantage of it already. This is a tough pick because protected halves here is insanely good. I think the fact that I've already played Ecozone. I also know that two of the one point scoring cards are in the deck already. Predators and Birds are already in the deck. That means the only one that's left is fish. I think the upside is higher with protected halves. I, it's, that's a weird pick because I love viral enhancers, but protected halves here is just insane for me. Um, I cut ironworks. I'm curious, Anthracite, what you think about that one. That is a tough pick because. Yeah, yeah, and I can see Mangrove being good too here, particularly with, yeah, with the heat and everything going up. 
Um, woo! Yeah, when I make an atypical pick on stream, you know, like to have Anthracite give me his imprimatur. Um, all right, the other thing I got to watch out for is building tags. If I can snag some building tags here. Too bad about natural preserve. I'm passing up. So Ron Mexico can actually play that card. Um, but I don't really care if he's not the one that I'm competing with for builder. All right, so. I'm going to take, I'll take Moss, I'll take Protected Halves, not taking Ironworks, not taking Magnetic Field Dome. I mean, the problem is Magnetic Field Dome is a building tag, but I don't have the power for it. I think it's just going to be these two. Um, how I don't know how you've heard it pronounced before. Gosh, I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to take this heat bump here. I just go. He has one. I think I'm just going to take some plants and then just standard project a plant. It's six. And the the uh, that thing's irresistible. Taking it. At eight, eight cash. These will be the last plants that I float. So I'll go. I'll definitely get my halves down before the next turn and I can investment loan and probably get these cards down too. Oh man, he's making me a nice city spot. Okay. Regretfully, I go last next generation. Somebody's going to pick up a nice city spot there. And I have set up Noctis for somebody too, unfortunately. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have played that there. Yeah, there's the crater. All right, so let's do... Protected halves and moss. I do need to make sure that I get at least one milestone. Honestly, builder is less likely at this point than terraformer. Um, but I, I've got next turn. Hey, Q. Next turn, I'm definitely getting the, uh, I don't think so. Definitely have to get a city down next turn. I don't know who's winning. All right, let's see how many uh, 
He's got a heat bump. He does not. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, boom. <laughs> there you go. Search for life. <laughs> That's too funny. Dude, Anthracite, take it all back. Take it all back, Anthracite. <laughs> Oh, man, that's amazing. There's the extractor. That's amazing. All right, did everybody pass here? So Ron Mexico, Mexico passed, Hoosier did not. So here's the question. Is he going to do a heat bump? Because I would actually like to play Heather. And uh, so the question is, I think I'm just going to go ahead and play this investment loan in the hopes that he plays a heat bump. He's, if he's going to play the heat bump, it's going to happen. I mean, he's got no actions and bummer. Oh, and he took my money for maximum for maximum uh, rub-ins. That's a, that sucks. All right, well, you got me. Um, hilarious. Was not thinking about the flooding as the uh, as the as the downside of that play. All right, so where are we at here? I definitely need to get my next city down. Is Mars U good at this point? It is a building tag. It gets me to builder. Plantation is quite strong, obviously. I basically want to play all these cards. It is Q. It's still in the pool, which is which is the main reason I would consider this. The thing about plantation is that it, it's not even that great for us because we'd be cannibalizing our own greenery points. Our tags are five plants. Yeah, no, I, I think, yeah, it is, it is surprising, uh, Prince. There's Mass Converter. I mean, I'm not playing Adaptive Lycan at this point, and Power Supply Consortium, I'm not playing that either. That's true, Anthracite. The only reason I, the only reason I, I took the the kicker for me on that one was that if uh, if I get one more building tag here, then I can get builder, and I I don't I don't hate. I mean the problem is all the cards in my hand are are fine. Like I'm planning to play all these cards, if so the action on Olympus is not that great, but I get, it just leaves me open for builder, which I I like that option. Wow, convoy. Definitely taking convoy. Yeah, I wish I had that birds anthracite. So I'm gonna take convoy and Mars. I mean, I you could I could also even skip the Mars. I mean, I, if I, I do have underground in Mars.
If I take these two, I don't even think I want Mars University, which is bizarre. Yeah, I don't think I want it. My hands are, my hands are okay. My my cards are good the way they are, or my hand is good the way they are. Okay, there's Noctis. Gosh, I could lose out on Mayor here. He doesn't. Yeah, I don't think he has enough money to do it. But I definitely have to get my mayor tied up here. Yeah, and he's got builder. Tight game. Um, let's see here. I mean, I think I'm going to play Synthesis into Underground City. I mean, it's 29. I mean, I guess I guess the city is just not even that good. Maybe just standard projecting a city is better. In which case, I should have taken the Mars University to cycle those away. The advantage of SP City is I can just I can play a plant here right away and just not, and, and do that. Although I, I kind of like getting the plants down over here. That's a good play. Mm. He's going to take Builder. I'm going to want more cities anyway. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Yeah, I wish I had taken, ooh, how are we doing on scientist? Two. Ah, another reason to have taken that card. I'm sort of regretting that now. Not picking up the uh, Mars University. Yeah, I know, but even even next turn it would have been good Q because I could have like if I decided I should have thought about this play right here like the playing the paying twenty eight. I mean, you do get plus quote unquote plus forty or your uh, 
to your uh, production, but it's in steel, and the other one gives you plus plus one. It's cheaper. I don't know. It, it's close. I I don't hate the SP play there. This ended up hurting me a little bit. Like the fact that these guys both got really solid cities is sort of negating my board advantage. And I, I think I could have played that better. I, I'm not sure how, but I, I could have. Definitely taking this milestone now. And uh, if I had a way to punish him, I wish I did, but I don't. All right, well, I think that's all I got. I think I'm losing this game. Um, scientist is uh, Hoosier Jeff has five, and Mexico and I have two each. All right, so let's see here. Two. What's my tags? I gotta go like zero space tags. Uh, I like small animals here. That's pretty good. Zeppelins is also D's. One, two, three, four, five, six cities on the board. Uh, but I think just small animals good here. I don't think I need more power. Um, the lichen. Let's cut, uh, cut that one. Not great. Yeah, I kind of wish I had taken that Mars University. I, I think, I think that could have been good. You know, it'd be sick here. It'd be like a nitrogen rich asteroid or something like, or that the one that uh, bumps you your plant production a bunch if you have three plant tags. Yeah, well played by uh, Ron Mexico there. Like basically negated all of the advantage that uh, that I had on board. Um, do I want to just take the last ocean with um, Convoy? I don't hate playing the Convoy now. I need cards. It's expensive, but like, whatever. And put the I could put animals on ego zone.
Um, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't. I don't disagree with you, Kia. Hmm. I'm trying to decide is on convoy whether I'd rather take the plants or just put the thing on the animals. I think I'll just take just take take the animals. See what we got here. Research. Nice. Okay. That gives us, that makes us very likely that we're going to be second on, um, on, uh, re on, uh, scientists. I think I'm just going to sell, I'm going to sell the, um, uh, nitrate reducing bacteria and play small animals this turn. You, your thoughts and my thoughts exactly. And here's the question. Do I take this heat bump or do I just save it as a way to try and get second on Thermalist? And I think the upside of just leaving it for Thermalist is higher. Right now, Ron Mexico does not have a way to convert heat. And I'm building a little heat, so I think I can just get, take, take second there. Okay, well now he has a heat, heat production. But it's equivalent to mine, so if I don't use that... Three production, he's got four production. I don't know who's more dangerous, really. I don't really know who my competition is right now. Probably Ron Mexico. I'm not going to play that heat bump. I can always play it later if I want to. I might still yet play Underground City. I cannot win scientists, but I, I the getting second on scientists would was nice. Uh, like it, that that'd be a nice swing. So having research means that I should be able to get second on that. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I did forget the small animal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, that could I hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. I just totally spaced that. I was thinking about something else. Dude, good quality streaming. Pro tip. Use your actions. All right. I do like um kind of like a couple of these things. I mean maybe I just take land claim.
I mean, Asteroid's fine, but I don't, it's not like I really need to play that, and I have protected halves. The one thing I worry about with Insulation is just passing him another milestone with, or a award if he just dumps all this into production. But I think that that's still unlikely that he makes that play. I think I'm just going to take the land claim here. Um, I just don't want somebody to claim this spot. I guess I lead off this turn. All right, I'll take the asteroid. You convinced me. Yeah. Oh, livestock. Forgot about that. That would have been nice with the... Uh... <clears throat> would have been nice with my... Uh... The uh, other one. It's still good with EOS. Do I, I don't know. It's going to be like a one-pointer. If I had viral enhancers... Um, Maybe like a two point play for 15. Is the game going to end this generation? I have 11 there. No, I'll take it. I don't know. It's close. I mean, I could definitely. Construe a combination of cards that could allow that. If somebody's holding Demos, the game could definitely end. He's got a bunch of bumps there. Um, he has one. There's plenty of money floating around. I can't believe I forgot that small animal. Um, all right, well, let's just go ahead and take this now. All right, I'm going to take, I guess I'll take the Asteroid just to give me some control, although I don't have a follow-up Titanium card, so it's quite expensive. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. I will take Livestock as a speculative play. Do I even want it? It's 15 credits? It's just not even that good. Even with EOS. All right, I'll take that one card. I don't know about that one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play this over here, pick up my plants and my money. And... Put an animal on there. Stupid. If the game goes one more generation, it won't have cost me anything. But if I. <laughs> I think my play here to start with is actually. Yeah, there's Demos. I think the game is ending this turn. I don't, I don't think it's going to. He's got another two heat bumps. I think I'm going to research for runner-up scientists. That effectively is a three-point play. Robotic and AI. Is there any chance that he could feel like he... I mean, I could actually maybe even catch him on Scientist.
Got six cards, ten cards. I think I want to see what these guys are going to do. Business contacts. <clears throat> There's there's virtually no scenario that I'm playing AI here. I could just play trees. So I'll have plenty of plant spots to hit. Play trees. If the game ends, I can still play Eos. They can make one more plant. I'm trying to decide whether to end the game. So he, he has enough money to do one standard project. Oh, maybe he has enough to do it all. No, not quite. Yeah, maybe the game's going one more gen. Gosh, this is a close one. I may need to do a score here. All right, let's see who's playing. Ron Mexico, he has five VP. Um, board is a snare. So I have twelve and four point or uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, fifteen points. 
All right, so the way I have it calculated here, I've got nine points. You've got fifty seven. Oh, I didn't get purple's VP six. I got. 50, 61, 67, got 31, 42, So I have us narrowly winning right now, except there's four more TR points going there, which means that that's all going to change. And I can't play a heat bump right now. I think I'm going to just sell photosynthesis. I'm going to sell Underground City. I'm almost certainly not playing that one. He's down to 16 cash, so he could get another. Eight. Eight, A lot of it depends on Ron Mexico here. I have green pretty far behind if I did the calculation correctly. Doesn't totally make sense to me. Yeah, small animals. God, so annoying that I forgot to do that. Um, There's there's really no world in which I'm fighting over scientists. Is there anything I'd want to do with a robotic workforce? I don't think so. I think I'm going to sell AI. I just really want to see what Hoosier is going to do here. Like, is he going to end the game? Or is he going to give me the option of doing that? Looks like he is. I think that Hoosier now and we're tied. Puts him at 42, Let's see what's what's gonna happen here. Is he gonna take the last standard project or pass? If he takes the last standard project, and he passed, he sold a card. <laughs> the five, so he can he can outlast us there. Hmm. I mean, I think based on what's happening here, 
I'm gonna EOS for sure. Oh yeah, you know what? I may have I may have put uh, my VP wrong because I forgot to add in the negatives. I think I was I have negative three. What did he do? I wasn't paying attention here. They both sold the patent. Man, that 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 small animals play is gonna hurt me. That point is gonna be quite important. And then also the um, the fact that I I went for the play to hit his power. Assuming he had a bumper, that was also a negative one point that could really hurt me. Well, I'm gonna EOS. I don't. I don't think I win if I just end the game right now. So. Although I have plus, I should have plus two on my VP from the the event card that I think is in. Yeah, and we do have the two conversions. And this game, this game is tight. I wish I had not made that mistake with small animals. It's going to be really costly. Yeah, but if he does that cue, he can't end the game. So, I mean, he's going to have to make a decision. And if it goes another generation, I mean, I, you know, it's not bad for us with nine plant production. We don't have a lot of point scoring cards left. I think I'm just passing here. I'm not going to take the heat bump. Although I'm going to, would I lose the heat bump next turn? No, I'll still be up one. All right, so I have 14 VP. I think. I don't think I can. I, I, the problem is I lose two points if I do it. I, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can take the bump. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. I am. I am out of gas. There's anti-grav, additional three points. Game is not going to end. Yeah, weird game. Maybe I should have kept Asteroid or something. I 
he's down to almost zero cards too. I'm gonna have to re recount the score here. And then it, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. I just I'd score as much as I can. Got five cards, two cards, three cards. Well, tough game. I feel like this was definitely winnable. Um, I feel like I'm going to lose this one, but that, that one hurts a little bit. At least it's just on me. I don't. I feel like my luck was fine. I had, you know, nobody like ran away with the game or anything. There were just a bunch of little small judgment calls that I think I probably messed up on a little bit here and there. But that was a good game. Good tight game. Don't hate seeing that as this card as one of his last cards. All right, I need a big whammy here. Something, something that's good. No, not great. Pretty clear uh, Lagrange there. That's fine. That's fine. Black Moss, Black Polar Dust. None of these cards do anything. I guess the one puts a an animal on my thing, but fairly irrelevant. Well, at least the uh, the small animals play is not going to come back to haunt me. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a point off of that after all. And <laughs> Martian rails. Um. So no action really. By Lagrange. So we're behind on landlord by one, I think. Like uh, Ron Mexico has that one. I mean, we'll probably catch up on it, but it's it's not it's not something that we can bank on. I expect him to take the last two heat bumps here, or at least one. And now we're going to tie on the heat. I don't really care if I tie with Ron Mexico on the heat. Um, so I guess we'll lead off with Lagrange and just see what we draw. Another critical. Probably should take this plant here.
Okay. It's minor. Yeah, I think Hoosier is going to be hard to catch here. He is essentially out of cash. I mean, he's got the excess here that he can use to some degree, but only one card. I guess I can calculate his... See where he's at, although it doesn't totally matter. Doing this for sure. Yeah, except for I'm still behind if I do that. And I don't think that that's my main competition right now. Decomposers. That would have been nice a while ago. All right, let's see this again here. Let's update this. I know it is late. All right. Hoosier has seven VP. I didn't see what my VP was when I was on that. Where are we at here? Board. Got one, two, three. Our hand, it's not impressive, Q. <laughs> it is not impressive. Um, let's see here. And then green's board is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One more point. And then our board is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. Twelve, thirteen. Our points are sixteen. <clears throat> and we're going to get one more plant potentially. So I want to 
probably just standard project over here. Well, we could play it. We could play one here, but it's it's VP neutral. Like we could play one here, pick up these, have an extra one to float. Is there anything we can do to create heat? I don't think so. Seventeen six cards. He's basically out of gas. Hopefully. I'm just going to sell a card here. Let's make sure we're still good on scientist. Yeah, we are. Oh, I could actually play it. I'm going to keep that just in case. Decomposer are going to do nothing for me. So I'm just going to keep that in case I need to do a greenery at the end. To make sure I get those last greenery points. Yeah, exactly, Q. That's what I was thinking too. Um, so where do I have us here? Where I was 50, here, 59, 66, 71, 79 for purple. I've got 38. 42, 5, 60. I have green so low. I don't really understand why. Um, Seventy five right now. I'm behind by about four points. He's going to get one more greenery. All right, what happened here? Old patents. I don't think there's a world in which I play workforce here either. Gosh, this is it's so tight. I just I cannot lose Thermalist as the second place on Thermalists. I, I'm just really hoping that Ron Mexico doesn't have a way to bump me out there. These out of cards, basically who's your just out of actions? Oh man. All right. Got four cards and a bunch of money. I mean, he's just going to be able to play spoiler. I, I don't really have a way to get around that. I'm just going to go ahead and green. That puts me another. I should have waited there, Q. My bad. Yep, I should have waited. So that was another, yeah, <laughs> which I just did. Wait, did I? What happened? Oh, no, it was fish. Yeah, should have waited there, Q, for sure. Well, I can uh, I can just search for life. <laughs>
Um, I mean, honestly, the way I have this calculated now, it might, it might, I think I just added four points to the board. I think I'm tied right now with purple. And so I really need that last conversion, which, which would, although no, I think I'm going to lose there because he's got one too. He's got a plant coming too. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I just burned it with 18 cash. Business network. I don't think I'm winning by seven right now. I, um, I think I'm just gonna sell this last this livestock. Like I don't think I'm playing that, and I would reserve photosynthesis as my very last play. Hold on a sec here. Right, because eco zone, everything. Yeah, no, that's right. I'm going to sell the livestock here. Make them think I got. I mean, I think I just have to hope that Ron Mexico doesn't play the spoiler here and hit my last plants because I, I want to just sell the money. And if he does, he does. There's just nothing I can do about it. I mean, I'm not going to spend the 11 for one plant production. No, I, I agree. I agree, Q. So that's why I'm just going to sell this and be done with it. If he if he hits me on the... Uh, if he hits my plant production here, it sucks. Um, but it's really... on. If, if he does that... It would be annoying, but it's on me because I, I, I could, I just, if I had played better, right? Or, you know, I could have set that up. So if he does, if he does sort of do that, it's like, can't really do anything about it. Right now, I think I have his tied. He's, he's at two, seven production. So 44, he'll end with for a lot 49 50 something 63 53 and i would have 53 so i will win on tiebreaker if it goes to that okay nothing there that affects me all right well we'll see what happened <laughs> cross fingers <coughs> I mean, I had run Mexico way behind, but he's really catching up now. I mean, maybe maybe I ended up just getting third, if possible. Correct. I have to. I have to put a. I put have to put put it over here for for us. Essentially, I gotta get. I gotta get two points out of it because he just got two points out of that. I think my main competition is still purple, but I. I didn't do the last calculation. All right. Good game. Let's see what happens. Oh, come now. I was off my own calculation by one. Oh, that one hurts. I feel like I, I should have won that game. That's so annoying. I don't know where I lot where I miscalculated that last point. Um thermal is swing of seven points. Um Oh, that's a frustrating one.
There's just lots of little things I could have done differently there. Well, that was a big one for me in the league, too, because if I had won that one, I think I would have had a pretty good chance of making it to the playoffs. And now I, I think it's going to be tough. I'll basically have to win my last match. Um, but, um, oh, well, good game. Um, I, it was definitely a fun one and uh, well played on all, all three sides there. And uh, congratulations to Hoosier. Tight one. Um, all right. Well, listen, uh, thanks everyone for watching. What a good game. God, that was fun too. Ah, spread. I feel like should have gotten that one. It's frustrating when I, when you, uh, feel like it was within your power, uh, but, uh, it slipped away. Uh, definitely could have sequenced some things a little bit better there and, uh, no, it's all good. Um, yeah. So, um, We will uh, we'll see you on the next one. So I you know I'm trying to get that game scheduled and I haven't been able to get a hold of the uh, the other players. Um, that's going to be a, a banger because it's going to really determine a bunch of stuff for playoffs. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know when I'm going to be able to play that because next weekend I'm, I'm just completely tied up. I'm on call at the hospital for all four days of Memorial Day. I'm not going to have a window where I can. Play, I don't think. Uh, maybe I'll have to play with somebody else and let them take over if I have to leave. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see. What a I mean, this is why the OTML is so fun. I mean, playing games with stakes is so much more fun. I mean, this game, this game stings because it was important. And if it was just like any other game, it'd have been like you know, oh, okay, you know, close one, but too bad. Uh, but I am very excited for the last game of um, of the league, and we'll see everybody there. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Anthracite, thanks for all the comments. Q, thanks for joining. Um, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right.